the consultant psychiatrist for the NHS, please welcome Lauren Gavigan. Yay! No, can't hear you! A switch on her speaker. Can't hear! Give her the mic. Can you hear? Yay! Hello, all you amazing people. Thank you so much for coming today. <coughs> My name is Lauren Gavahan, and I work as a doctor in your NHS. I want to say a few words on why, as a doctor, I think Brexit will be bad for our NHS, which means bad for you, for me, and our families and friends. We are unbelievably lucky to have the NHS in this country, but the NHS is in big trouble. We currently have 40,000 nurses short and 10,000 doctors down. It has been grossly underfunded by this government for eight years. In January this year, 68 A&E consultants wrote to Theresa May to say that people were dying on hospital trolleys in corridors. Elderly people died at home waiting for ambulances which took hours to get to them. Social care has been slashed, beds cut, and sick people are getting readmitted to hospital a day after getting discharged as there simply weren't enough beds for them to stay. Staff are really struggling. Staff are leaving. It takes time to train new doctors and more nurses. And Brexit is making this situation much worse. In the year following the referendum, there was a 96% reduction in EU nurses registering to work in Britain. Just think about that, 96% drop. Between 2017 and 2018, nearly 4,000 nurses and midwives from the EEA left the Nursing and Midwifery Council register. This was 28% higher than the previous year and three times higher than the year before that. Increasingly, EU NHS staff feel as though their futures are uncertain. Many feel that the only option is to leave. They feel totally unwelcomed. They, these amazing staff, are my colleagues. They are your doctors, your nurses. I remember going to work the day of the referendum and meeting a brilliant professor from Germany, an expert in her field, leading a world-renowned team in the NHS. And suddenly she couldn't even think of applying for crucial research grants because often the grants are EU-based. She looked shattered. In 2016, I was working with a really great, kind family. A family who knew what it meant to struggle. A family who used the NHS. I asked them how they were voting. The mother told me proudly, we're voting for Brexit because all we, we care about our NHS. It has helped our family so much. We want it to do well, so we're voting out because they're all saying it will help our NHS. They were so excited that they could make a difference. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, here we are in 2018, and Theresa May is talking of her Brexit dividend. Every think tank economist and even her fellow politicians have refuted this, including the director of the IFS. There is no Brexit dividend. Remember also that Theresa May has refused to rule out our NHS being part of US-UK trade deals. Trump is about to land on British soil. Trump. Whose only focus is getting the best business deal. Do not think our NHS will be spared. In medicine, possibly the most dangerous position one can get into is when tunnel vision occurs, where the doctor, the surgeon, no longer sees the bigger picture and instead has blinkers on. When this happens, bad things also happen. Important details are missed, mistakes are made, and people die. What we are witnessing right now is an entire government who has developed a kind of tunnel vision, who aren't taking just one person down a dangerous path, but instead taking an entire country and future generations of an entire country, your children and their children, down this treacherous route which they cannot even see the end of. 
To my mind, this is unforgivable. And just as in medicine, where everybody in the team must be willing to stand up and state what is happening to prevent a disaster, it is now going to be up to all of us in this country and beyond to stand up and say no, to have the courage to demand that we, the people, have a say in our own futures and the futures of our children. Thank you. We're now going to show you a little video that's